Hello YouTubers, I'm going to do an update on the cool weather vegetables that I'm growing. And this all in bloom here with flowers everywhere is the red tail radish. And I thought that I had at least one that I found with all the flowers all over it. And of course now can't find it. Okay. Here it is. That's what it looks like. And that is supposed to be a radish. Haven't tried it yet. This will be the first one that's on here, but all these blooms are supposed to be representing more radishes. We shall see. Over here we have the French breakfast radishes and all of these need to come out. They may be overdue. The cherry bell, yeah, because one of those have split. Some of them didn't form too well. Guess I didn't mound them up like I should have. Um, I had to resort to covering them with a shade cloth because it was getting so hot here. And sometimes I forget to come and check on them. <laughs> The shade cloth helped that, and of course the cabbage moth. That's just ugh, really getting on my nerves. Okay, this is the orange rutabaga. These are the red turnips. I can harbor some of those. That's good enough for me. Some of them are still small, but some of them are not. These are the orange beets, and I think these were the first ones I sold and that was the second one. Um, this is the kohlrabi. I don't know if it's going to make it. This is the purple one and then I think those in the back are white. I'm going to keep them covered up and hopefully I can get a bulb on them. Doesn't have to be big for me just as long as I can harvest something. This is the sorrel. Looking good. Haven't tried it yet. Uh, that's the crest that I added and this is the mixed lettuce and this is starting to look it's getting ready to bolt too but we can eat some of that that's fresh looks good this is a mixed one so I'm not actually sure what was all in that packet but I can tell that's different than the other ones over here were the snow peas and see a couple on there they've gotten probably too big there yeah but let's go around the shade cloth <laughs> over here is the uh, red leaf and then here's some yeah yeah see some of these are they didn't plump out I think I would have preferred these these are the flat ones but we shall see what they taste like regardless. That is the Kama Sutra. Kama Sutra. Yeah, you know that. I'll put it in the description box. It's holding its own. It seems to be doing fine. It's not bolting. Now what is bolting or has bolted and I need to harvest and go ahead and pull and put something else in here because this has actual flowers on it is the Shang Shang Choi. <laughs> Did real well. And I have tasted some, but it's going to, to seed. Here is the pot chart. Same thing, going to seed. You, yeah. yeah, let's see, what is that? Okay, friend of foe. What are you, focus, focus? I don't know about that one. This is the Tasio. The Asian mustard. It's another one that's going to seed. It's starting to bud up here. And this marugula. I'm not sure if this is going to make it or not. There's a couple of them went in, but that one didn't make it there. And this was the round leaf spinach. And I think it's just getting crowded out by the red tail. Radishes. There's another one on there. Okay, that's smaller. They may taste a little different. 
also was having an issue with white flies. So that's why the cloth went on and pretty much stays on all the time. Hmm, it's falling over. Yep, going to seed. <laughs> and let's go to the other bed that I had to construct. Okay, new one up over here. These are the leeks. Those are the ones I started from seed. That's why they still look like little strings of grass. Over here are the yellow shallots. Now, am I supposed to cut these? They just look wild. I don't know. Reds, the red shallots. Yellow onions I did from seed. Those are the red onions. Bulbs. And around my rose bush, I did garlic. Those are the garlic bulbs. They look good. Look really good. Both those are garlic. Here, this is the. Um, it's one of the carrots. I'm not sure which one that is. Da 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 da. That's the orange one. I'll put whatever the actual type it is. This is the red. Uh, I think it's atomic carrots and these were the purple ones I'll put a description in the box and these were the parsnips that made it and the room that I had left over I put in more carrots so this was the new bed that I constructed and in the center I just added a double the box up and that's where the carrots and the parsnips went now on to the third bed Okay, and this is the last box. Okay, this is the purple sprout and broccoli. This is the premier kale. Premier kale. Let's see, that's two of those, and then two of the Chinese cabbages. Here we have the tender mustard, two of those, and then two of the red giant mustards. And then this is the dino kale, the three of those. This is the orange switch chard, two, four, six, eight of those. Bloomsdale spinach, <laughs> the only one that ever came up, just one. And so I popped a, another red mustard in there. And then the, back there is two blocks of the butter lettuce. This is the rhubarb chard. Got eight of those. And then these are the Georgia collards. And this one looks like something's going on here. And double check you. The other ones look okay. And these actually went in about two weeks before, not before, two weeks after the, the other bed went in. Plus I have backups. I couldn't throw any of them away, so a couple of them I ate as baby greens. And the other ones I transplanted into a little pot. So when something doesn't make it or starts to go to seed, I can pop it in and it can continue to grow. So that's the update on the cool weather vegetables thus far. I think I'm going to harvest today too. Thanks. Bye.